I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist and brand new beekeeper. Now, uh, I've already done a video on this. I got a beehive several months ago and I got bees about a week ago. And I've decided to do things my way because I'm stubborn and I'm an atheist. So what the hell am I doing? Um, I gotta do things a little bit differently. So I've been studying beekeeping for literally years. Um, might even say decades. And I've seen how they do it and they all do it the same way. And one of the things that I wanted to do was to go foundationless, uh, at least on the brood hive, on uh, the two deeps. And the reason I wanted to do this is because bees know what they're doing. They make cells the size that they need. They make different size cells for the regular drones and the um, regular honeybees and the queens and the honey, different size cells. Now the honey cells are all pretty much uniform. And in the super, which is the shallower box, they're gonna do all the same size cells. But in the brood box, they're going to do different size cells. So I wanted to give them opportunity to do that. And giving them a foundation kind of paints them into a corner where they've gotta go the size cells that are embedded in the form. Um, and I didn't wanna do that. So what I started doing uh, the hive that I have, the bottom has eight frames that I got with my nuke, and they are all foundation. So the other two I put in foundationless, which is I put in no front, no foundation, just a strip of beeswax. Now this is uh, embedded, be or not embedded, but it's formed beeswax, so it's got the cells in there. But it's just basically to give them a starting point. Um, a lot of people put wires there, and I thought about putting the wires there, and I may still do that. Uh, see how that goes but one thing I figure bees know what they're doing they've built hives in everywhere they they know what they're doing so they don't need a lot of direction they just need to be corrected to keep things straight which checking on them every so often will do that uh, so I'm not terribly worried about them building a straight comb uh, the wires I don't know if they're to make the straight comb or just to reinforce structurally uh, but speaking of reinforcing structurally, one thing I was very curious, because I did, I like the idea of foundation because of the structural integrity uh, aspect of it. But again, I wanted the bees to have their opportunity to build frames that they want. So I did a lot of research on using something like wire mesh or wire uh, screening. Uh, and I tried with fabric screening this does not work because it's just too flimsy. Uh, I have to buy some wire screening to try this again. But the other thing I tried was wire mesh. Now I was going to do chicken wire, but chicken wire is just crazy flimsy. Uh, so I went with half by half wire mesh, which it is still difficult to get this thing flat. But I get it pretty flat, and the bees know what they're doing, and their frames have enough space. And what I did is I, I've covered them as well as I can with beeswax. Now this is candle beeswax, but it's supposed to be 100% beeswax, uh, not like the yellow beeswax. Um, so I've coated these and I left them out in the sun so that, that the wax has melted onto the wire. And what I'm going to do is just fit the wire frame into the frame, um, leaving it some on the sides, the 16 and a half by eight and a half piece fit in the deep box and I've left the strip of wax there and I've kind of pressed it on there so they have a good starting point and uh, we will see how this goes I'm new to this I'm a stubborn man and I got to do things my way and uh, I talked to at least one the guy I bought the bees from and he's like well you can do that uh, he didn't seem enthusiastic but he did say that most beekeepers just do things the way everyone else does that because it works. And very few are willing to try anything new because why go away from what works? And because I'm new at this, and this is my first hive, I have a little wiggle room for experimentation, I think. So I'm experimenting to see how this goes because the foundation will help them keep a straight comb. It also gives them a definitive area to where to build the comb, and it gives it structural integrity. So I'm very curious to see if they will accept this. I've noticed that they've accepted just the, the strip there. 
and they're starting to build onto that. But again, I didn't put any wires or anything there to uh, guide them or reinforce it. But that's just on two frames. The other frames, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start out with doing just four frames in the center because that's where they start. So I'll see how or if they start using it. And I will give you an update later. But I am curious or I, I am wanting to know what you think of this. Uh, any of you beekeepers. If you think I'm crazy, please let me know. If any of you have tried anything like this, please let me know. Because beekeeping should be fun. It should be interesting. And being a scientifically minded person, I like to experiment. I want to do something new and different. I don't want to do what everyone else has done. Um, so I want to try something different. This is definitely different. And we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'm Tommy, your friendly neighbor atheist and beekeeper, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.